What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so round two? Anybody? I mean, this guy sucked, so it is time to go into the next room. Yeah, you suck, man. You really do suck, so eat a dick. Alrighty, so here we go for our second challenge of the Elite Four challenge. I said that word twice, and uh, it's against Phoebe, the ghost type trainer. In our last episode, yeah, you probably already noticed, Sydney, dark type trainer, sucks. I'm just saying it. Like, out of all the Elite Four members that I've ever battled, he he sucks. He just sucks. I don't even know. All right, let's talk to this lady right here. And she's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training in Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with the ghost type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on and try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Crap. Alrighty, so here we go. We're gonna be going up against a ghost type Pokemon trainer, and I forgot to switch up my Pokemon. Yeah, that's why. That's what I said. Crap. All right, so here we go. Elite Four Phoebe coming out with their Dusclops, and I'm going with Shroomly. <laughs> okay, here we go. So if you're playing Pokemon Emerald, or no, if you're playing Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire, she does have five Pokemon starting off with Dusclops at level 48. Then two Bainets, level 49. Then she comes out with the level 50 Sableye and finishes it off with the level 51 Dusclops. Remember, they are very slow. How you defeat Ghost type Pokemon? Very easy. Dark type Pokemon. Uh, in this one, Ghost type Pokemon as well. Be aware of the Sableye because it is both a dark and ghost type Pokemon, so it doesn't really have any weakness. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Emerald like I am, yep, she has two Dusclops, one at level 48 and one at level 51. She does have two Bayonets, level 50, and she does have a level 50 uh, Sableye, so it's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit in reverse, so coming back to this screen, okay, let's go with the Giga, Giga Drain, okay, so we kind of screwed up, we kind of screwed up, screwed up just a little bit, so that doesn't do anything, I am going to switch it out with a new Cybot right here, I know I don't have uh, any kind of dark type moves on it, but it won't be affected by a... Uh, by anything right there. Oh wow, Shadow Punch. Okay, all right, okay. So Shadow Punch is, uh, it does work. So let's go with the Sword Stance right here. Yeah, this is the one where we're gonna get hurt a lot. All right, all right, there's that curse. Yeah, you just screwed yourself right there. All right, we gotta hit it one time. One freaking time because that curse attack will actually hurt us a lot. And uh, all righty. Let's go. Thunderbolt and wow. Freaking Dusclops. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so there's that other... Oh, wow. We're going to get... Oh, my God. I thought he was going to go with, like, another Protect. All right, you asshole Pokemon. Thunderbolt. Oh, my God. Well, that's what happens when you get a little too cocky. All right. Let's go. Gaia the Fierce Knight. I didn't want to use him, but it's going to happen anyways. Gaia the Fierce Knight. And that pressure. All right. All right. Go ahead. Bring it on. Go with that full restore. I don't care. I really don't care. So there we go. Shadow Ball for the win. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, crap. Yeah, we're going to use another one. And, uh, shit. Fucking protect. Alright, let's go with Calm Mind. Probably do the same thing that I did with uh, Juan right there. And uh, what do you do? Shadow Punch, crud. So I gotta be careful. Real, real careful. Look at that. It took. It was a critical hit right there. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Shadow Ball for the win. There we go. Dust Claps. You ain't got a chance. You ain't got a chance, homeboy. And, uh, alrighty. So she's gonna come out with the bayonet. I am gonna continue on with Gaia the Fierce Knight until it faints. I do have revives. I'm not worried. So here we go. Shadow Ball again for the win. There we go. Oh, come on, bayonet. You should have fainted. Ah, oh, balls. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get cocky again. Alright, so that's two Pokemon down, so I'm gonna go with the man, the myth, and the legend, Swamp Lord. That's right. Alrighty, let's go. Surf attack. 
Let's go. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna stay with Swamp Lord right here and uh, coming out with the Sableye just because, yeah, Sableye right here. Yeah, Sableye is Sableye, and uh, I'm gonna go Surf Attack. There we go. And wow, just when you think you're about to beat him, it just does this. Freaking Sableye. Ghost types are known to trick you. They are. And uh, here we go again. Surf Attack. For the win. Look at that. Okay, so two of my Pokemon fainted, and she, she's coming out with another Bayonet, so let's go again with the, yes, Surf Attack. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on! Jesus. Oh, crud. Like, these Pokemon are, they're surviving. They are survivors, I'll tell you that. They are survivors. Oh, God. Okay, alrighty. Here we go. Surf attack yet again. Alrighty. And uh, it survived yet again. So I'm going to go with... Oh, crap. I don't even want to waste another... I don't want to waste my Ice Beam attacks. That's the thing. And uh, would you look at that. Bayonet defeated Swamp Lord. Kicking butt. And she's coming out with a Swamp... Or a Dust Talk. So I'm going to stay right here. You cannot defeat Swamp Lord. Here we go. Surf attack. Alrighty, okay, and doesn't even faint. Oh god, I hate that. I really hate that. And, uh, well, there it comes out with its uh, citrus berry right there. Now I'm, I'm starting to realize that, yeah, huh, it's gonna be a long, long uh, battle against uh, Wallace if we face him. And, uh, again, this guy is coming out with the Shadow Ball. I hate you. Yeah, I'm just throwing out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be using an elixir pretty soon here because I'm using a lot of surf attacks. There we go. And that's the end of that. Holy Jesus. I'm just going to say this right now. That I was a little disappointed right now. Yeah, it was a little disappointing. Whatever. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it. So, it's only natural that I lost. Yep. I'd like, you, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. Sure, why not? Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going up against another Pokemon trainer. I got a few things that I need to take care of on this one right here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.